get massive. Alright, Iron Dad. One step past the Fit Dad. We're going from uh, losing all the body fats. So if, you're, uh, if you've been on Fit Dad, you have probably lost all of your body fat and you're just looking lean as hell. Or you're just naturally a lean guy and you didn't need to do Fit Dad like you. Um, it's time to pack on some muscle mass so we actually have man bodies instead of boy bodies. And I got you with this because we're going to get huge. No one's going to ask you if you're sick anymore. Or no one's going to call you little fella or sarcastically call you big fella when really you look like a rake. We're going to put some massive chests on, big boulder shoulders, pipe arms, guns and huge legs um, and nice diamond shaped calves so that people can see us in t-shirt and singlets and shorts and say, that dude looks awesome and he's got kids what a tag that's freaking awesome look at the guy he's a, he's a freak and it's not even hard but i tell you what it can be if you do it wrong um if you not not if you do it wrong if you if you do it wrong you're gonna end yourself and you're gonna look like a dick if you are in a gym um if you if you do it inefficiently it's just gonna take you forever because a lot of guys they go to the gym year in and year out and they they do things slightly, um, I don't like saying incorrect, but they do things slightly, they're not, they're not doing it in an optimal way and they're just not getting the results and then they quit. So before doing Fit Dad, I was actually, that's all I ever did was help people to get bigger, or help young kids, young boys to get bigger so that they can get into a, um, a better rugby or rugby league team because they just weren't big enough. So this is my bread and butter, man. I got this and I know how to do this and I know how to do it fast and effectively. We're going to, we're going to hit you from a few different angles. Number one, we're going to build your strength so you can be much stronger. So you can go and grab all the shopping and have a kid on each shoulder and then one under the arm and all of the shopping and fuck trolleys, man. Who needs a trolley? You park on the other end and you can, you can handle all of that. Um, and look cool <laughs> doing it. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to go for hypertrophy, which is actual muscle size. So we're going to be strong as well as looking cool. Because, I mean, our wives, they spend a lot of money buying shoes and handbags and jewelry so that they can look better. But, fuck, man, what's the best accessory is a shredded husband. And a lot of us, before doing Fit Dad, were just like this fat husband. Um, so now we're going to have her having this, like, it's, it's going to save you money because your wife's not going to need any more accessories because you are the accessory. You're the one under her arm that she's most proud of. Everyone else to have Prada and diamonds. Your wife's got you, the beast, the freak, the fit iron dad. All right, so we're going to get strong and we're going to get really cool looking. Massive ab, blocky abs, big pecs. Um, and we're going to buy clothes from the large section. We're not going to go to the kids section anymore because we're so... Um, weedy or manlet looking. So we're going to hit this from um, in four phases, but before we hit the four phases, there's a prep phase. So before you even start, you need to get a few things sorted out. Um, you will need access to weights of some kind. So I'll show you how to get a really cheap gym membership where you don't need to, um, you don't need to be stuck in a contract. Uh, if you do have uh, a garage space, how to get uh, really good quality commercial equipment for probably a third of the price that you would normally pay. Also, how to avoid probably the biggest mistake when you are buying uh, gym equipment, and that is buying shit that you will never ever use. Uh, so don't fall trap to the uh, fitness experts at the fitness sales centers. Um, I got you covered with that. Don't worry. We'll, we will make sure that your gym equipment is cheap but functional, um, which is very important. Secondly, um, we're going to need to look at your nutrition. It's a different nutrition to what we were doing before. So it's not a fat loss nutrition. Uh, it's not an athletic nutrition. It is purely designed around uh, growing your muscles without gaining fat. Uh, because that's really important. If we were fat once, we lost the weight. We don't want to get fat again. We just want to build muscles so that we keep that leanness but build the muscles underneath. Very, very important for us. That's how we're going to attack the diet. It's very simple, similar to how we did in Fit Dad. 
Um, you create your meal plan based around the foods that you enjoy. It's not going to be like a strict, you eat this and this is how many calories exactly and you got to eat the fucking broccoli that I eat and all sorts of stuff that you just can't handle. You eat what you eat and you fit it into your macros and you fit it into your, your, um, your eating plan uh, so that it's yours. It's not mine. Okay. Um, and I'll teach you how to do that really easily. That's a really simple part. Uh, and then, once we've got that sorted, we're going to have a look at supplements that will help you. You don't need supplements, but they certainly help because the faster you can recover, uh, the faster you can grow because it's in the recovery that you grow. So those are the things we're going to attack at the beginning. Also, equipment, um, as in things that you will need at the gym, like what type of shoes, what type of gloves if you need them, belt, knee wraps, all that sort of stuff if you actually need them. I'll, I'll, tell, I'll show you what they're used for and you decide whether you need them or not. Um, I use gloves but I, but I get them, for example, I, I get them from a hardware store instead of from the gym shop because they're much cheaper and they're actually better quality so you can get them for like two bucks, three bucks um, and just cut the, cut the tips off the fingers. Best weight training gloves you can possibly ever get, super cheap. Um, all right. The four phases we're going to attack, we're going to get uh, phase one, base phase, where we're just going to make sure that the, um, your body knows that it needs to start preparing itself for growth. You will feel a specific type of pain in that. Uh, there is a specific way of doing this so that we prime ourselves for um, explosive growth. Uh, you will grow in this phase, don't worry, it's not like you're going to sit dormant for ages and then only grow at the end. You're going to get this steady curve be going this way yeah this steady curve of growth and then in the end we do have an explosive growth phase where you will pack on the muscle really fast okay so that's the primer phase and then we go into <clears throat> the balance phase one of the biggest things I noticed um, when training young guys or training anybody for that matter for strength and size gain is um, an imbalance we all have say one arm stronger than the other arm well I mean we write with one arm instead of the other arm one hand it's the same with your body. One leg may be stronger than the other leg. One arm may be stronger than the other arm. We want to balance that out. At the same time, we want to make sure that your core, um, from below your ribs to um, just above your hips, is as powerful as it can possibly be because that translates through to the rest of you. Uh, so that's what that phase is all about. Still be growing through that phase, but we're making sure that you have um, powerful joints so that you, you will reduce uh, the, the possibility of injury uh, when we really load you up uh, with weight and get big and strong. Okay, the next phase is the endurance phase that we go through, muscular endurance. Uh, the idea with this is that we, wanna, we want the body to pump, um, to create pathways for blood flow and nutrient flow into the muscles. So we've, we've got a specific way of training uh, that will get uh, your let's say we're training your chest, it will allow your chest, it will force your chest to um, build more capillaries into the muscle so that the blood can come in and out faster, which means faster repair, which also means growth, which is what we're going for. All right, that's the fun, that's the fun one. Uh, that's where we get the deep burn that, that people love to talk about, the deep burn. You'll be talking about the deep burn with your kids and they'll be like, Dad, you're awesome, I got the deep burn. Um, and then after we've done the endurance phase, we're going to hit the explosive growth phase, which is where we've gone, where we take everything we've learned and everything we've done and primed for, and then it's just like, boom, we attack the body and it just goes, it just responds perfectly. Most people go straight to this sort of shit and then they get like average to poor results. We've just got to make sure we do all the little blocks in the beginning, get that steady growth, steady growth, and then it's like, wham, look at the size of this guy. It's like, fuck, look at you, you're in a week, look at what happened, you're taking roids? People will ask you that, but we're not taking roids. Um, that's not cool. Um, so that's what that is, and it's all, each phase can last between, it's up to you, two to four weeks. So essentially, if you really want to, this can go for 12 weeks. You can extend it beyond that if you want to. Um, I got everything covered for you guys, and I, as just like everything else, I will be in there helping out as you come up with questions because um, I know what it's like that when you first ever step into gym, it's the most intimidating fucking place. You got these young kids with their earphones on, spotting each other, asking you if you can work in with you, and all that sort of shit. And it's like um, you got them, and then you got the 
the, the PT coming in, chewing his gum, looking around, flexing in the mirrors, asking you if he can train you, which is really code for, can I take your money um, because I really want to make money and I'm paying rent at this gym and it's costing me a lot of money. Don't worry, I've got you covered. You'll be able to walk in there. No one will bother you. You will just get in there, get your shit done. And each session is like max 45 minutes, like absolute max 45 minutes, 30 minutes. Most of them would be 30 minutes, but 45 minutes is absolute max. Um, get in there, get that shit done because we're dads, man. We're efficient, we're effective, and we really don't have much time. But we're doing this for our kids and we're doing this for our wives, so we make time. Um, this is something that if you have it, for me, I have a gym in my garage so that it's, so I do this late at night once the kids are asleep. That's what I do instead of watching TV. Depends on you. You got a gym at work, you could rather do gym at lunchtime then hang out with the, with the office fatties eat, talking about their pizzas and, and the TV that they watched last night or just get epic for your wife. We do that at lunchtime because it's only 30 minutes, have a quick shower, get straight back to work feeling pumped and feeling freaking awesome because it is a, it's one of the best feelings in the world is going to a gym and crushing a workout that you didn't think was possible, lifting a weight that you didn't think you could possibly do. You'll be doing that and we'll be doing it together. So. Um, I've kept the price of the program nice and low so that you can um, use a bit of that, you know, your spare cash or whatever to to get the cheap gym membership and to get yourself some supplements and I'll explain all of that in there. Um, don't worry, it's not it's not a huge expense. Uh, it never has to be with me. I'm the tightest fucking person there is. Everyone tells me I'm super tight and I do everything tight. I mean, this thing that I'm wearing right now is like eight years old. I think my son actually bought it and I stole it from him, but it's, um, it's cool because it makes me flex. Oh yeah. <sighs> I'm ready to do a workout right now. So you guys get in there. We'll do this together. This could be fucking cool, man. We're going to look amazing. We're going to be just big powerhouse husbands with this V taper and these big back this way, massive back and big chest and awesome traps here for the wives to just be like, Oh, my husband is the best. And that's what they'll be saying about you. And you'll get the benefits of that. So let's get in there and let's get big.